Hi friend, my name is Diogo Marques and I'm an independent financial advisor based in Cascais, Portugal. So what type of investment funds are there for the Golden Visa and how is the investment structured? The main capital allocation of investment is as follows. At least 60% of the capital must be allocated to commercial entities, SPVs, special purpose vehicles, registered in Portugal whose underlying asset is commercial real estate. The remaining 40% can be allocated to other investments like a bond portfolio for instance. The investment must have a minimum maturity of 5 years. This means that the investor can take the funds out after 5 years or they can keep going if this is their wish. There are essentially two types of funds, real estate and private equity. Private equity funds usually target buyouts of mid-market companies with target acquisitions of 40 to 60% stake in the companies and EBITDAs of 2 to 5 million. They are essentially going in and untying cash flows of good solid companies that essentially overextended themselves. These private equity funds usually have a target of 15 to 20% returns. Real estate funds, on the other hand, target industrial complexes acquiring performing assets. They essentially buy in the existing property from the owner and keep charging rents to the tenant. Both types of funds usually have a portfolio target of 6 to 10 investments. There are essentially 7 parts to this fund. These are number 1, you, the participant, that can have class A or class B shares, more on this later. Number 2, the fund manager, who manages the fund. Number three, the fund advisor who brings in the clients, that would be me. Number four is the depository bank, which holds the funds. And number five, up to seven included, are the auditor, the tax advisor and the legal advisor, which is by itself self-explanatory. The fund is regulated by the Portuguese Securities and Exchange Commission. In the US is the SEC, in Portugal is called the CMVM. Both have the same exact role as enforcer. How the funds acquire the companies? I've been on both sides of this process, both by recommending funds to Golden Visa clients and also by sourcing deals to investment funds and I have seen firsthand how it is done. From the fund side, when you present them a deal, this is what they look for. A typical purchase price from 3 to 10 million, at least 7% annual yields on the rents paid, so let's say you have a 5 million potential acquisition. This means that the minimum threshold of yearly rents is 350k per year. That is what the tenant must pay. The contracts also must have a duration of at least 10 to 15 years renewable for the same period with no break clauses. Also, funds look for top rated tenants with no history of default, free of debt to both the tax authority and the social security. Funds have extremely experienced legal and financial professionals that go through the deal within a couple of days. They will call you directly and say yes or no, and if no, why? This is why their feedback is so valuable. They are very thorough and explain the key points in their analysis. This gives me a great deal of confidence when presenting this exact same fund to a Golden Visa investor, as I know where they are coming from. This means that when a Golden Visa investor participates in the fund, they can be rest to sure that they are safe. Portuguese finance professionals are highly qualified and experienced and you can see this firsthand when you watch them conducting their due diligence on a deal you present them. I like that a lot. A common question is, do I have to invest in just one fund? No. You are required to have 500k of capital invested in Golden Visa funds, not a fund. So for instance, if you want exposure to both private equity and real estate, you can split your capital between these two funds. I have clients that did exactly that. In regards to paperwork, it's the same process. The depository bank or banks, if they are different, will issue a certificate stating you have X amount of units in fund A and Y amount of units in fund B. This is what your legal representative needs to present to the Immigration Service Authority here in Portugal. If you want to learn more, schedule a free complimentary call with us using the provided Calendly link so we can help you with your process. Stay strong, friend.